Ahoy VC, welcome to the Personal Oasis. This is the Blind Island. I am your host, Isaac, and today we are going to be entering into another contest for Mike the Guitar Player. Mike has just recently crossed the 300 subscriber mark and he's hosting a contest. Want to say congratulations, Mike, on your subscribers. Continue to grow. You're one of the nicest people in the vinyl community and I'm very happy to be joining in on your contest. I will include a link to his channel below. I believe that he is very well worth following. He has a, a large eclectic collection and is very, very knowledgeable for being one of the younger members of the BC. Uh, it's nice to have a peer there and he is truly one that I respect and wish to emulate. Cheers to you, Mike. Now, Mike has asked us to share three answers to three different questions. The first is share a record that you spin a lot on your turntable. And that first one would probably be uh, Zombies, Odyssey, and Oracle. This one reaches my turntable frequently and it's also one of my top favorite albums of all time. Uh, I don't need to speak on it in further depth. This is a 1969 reissue of their, uh, of Odyssey and Oracle, but uh, I would love to find a, a first pressing one day. And then second was share an album that you, was one of the first that you got while you started collecting or the very first. I've already shared my Johnny Cash album multiple times on here, so I decided to share uh, in the wee small hours. I bought this at the cheapos in the Twin Cities and it was only five dollars But uh, at the time I didn't realize it I was just buying it because I liked in the wee small hours, but it turns out this is a very first pressing with that inner uh, silver circle on the Labels and this is a fairly expensive one when it's in good shape and this one is it's a VG plus and plays beautifully throughout. So yeah, definitely one of my best early scores and I didn't even realize it at the time. But, uh, and then the last question was he wanted us to share a story about our record collection. And I think that the main one I want to share is when my wife and I were first dating, she came to my apartment and saw, like maybe I had a few hundred records at the time and saw them on the floor. She told me that she used to collect records but had gotten rid of them and was so excited to be able to listen to some music with me. And that was the moment that I knew she and I were really connected because music meant a lot to her as it did to me. And now almost all the records that are in our collection have a, a very deep or uh, it's almost spiritual meaning because almost each one gets to reflect back on my love of her, which is an amazing thing. So they kind of go hand in hand and it's all, always in my life been God, family, uh, that is my wife now, and then music. So th those are kind of my big three and uh, it's just so nice that two, that all of those pretty much can be lumped right up together at the end of the day. So that was my entry into Mike's contest. Join in on yourself. Uh, it's a great idea to have, and I hope that you have a great day on your own personal oasis. Cheers.